Okay, welcome back. Um, my name is Bill Gerber. I'm going to do a quick um, tips and tricks video as a follow up to my um, Frame TV uh, video. Now, um, someone, a viewer had a question on uh, how to set this to automatically turn off at 10 p.m. and then turn back on at 8 a.m. Um, and that's a great question and can actually be used um, on many other features aside from just this this art TV mode. But um, I wanted to kind of go through the way that we could do this um, with, with two options. The first way is we can hard code this right into the um, workflow so that no matter what, at 10 p.m., that's it. It goes off. Um, and the other method is to allow the end user to override it. For instance, um, they're having a party, they want the art mode to stay on later, um, and, and they get the option to turn art mode back on. So um, I'm gonna show the first method, which I like to give the users a lot of power. Um, so I'm gonna show the, the method that we can give the users the ability to override this. And it's actually pretty easy. What we can do is um, this this variable art mode enabled is what's allowing us to know whether we want the art mode to be on or off. So here we are at the family family room art TV on. So if the art mode is enabled, then it's going to turn on art mode on the TV. Um, so what we can actually do is just create a trigger to set this art mode enabled to off at 10 p.m. and another trigger to turn it back on at 8 a.m. Um, so I'm going to just run through that real quick. Um, add another one here. 10 p.m. Turn off. And 8 a.m. Turn on. And so what we're going to do is we'll grab our um, user variable, art mode, and we're going to actually put it in both of these. And we're going to go to 10 p.m. turn off, and we're going to go to time, current hour, and we're going to go to 8 a.m. and put in current hour. So let's take a look at what we have. We have at 10 p.m. we want this to shut off. Now I like to use the current hour because this is going to check at the beginning of every hour. So it's going to check 24 times a day. Um, I've seen a lot of people put the current time in here. I'll show show you what that is. If you're looking at time, this current time, this is a, a date format. So this has everything, the day, the, the time, and the seconds. And this changes every single second. So if you were to place this in here and see how current time is up here, what happens is when any of these states change value, evaluate this rule. Well, this current time changes every single second. So it's calculating every time. That's 60 times a minute. That's 3,600 times an hour and so on. That is a lot of times that it does not need to check considering we're looking for one hour change, the 10 o'clock hour. So we can get away with just doing the hour. And every time the hour changes, it's going to check to see if it's equal to 10 p.m. Now, in Savant, it's treating the current hour as a 24-hour clock. So 10 p.m. is really 22. So if the current hour is 22, which is 10 p.m., art mode is enabled, we want to set that to false. So now we're turning off art mode. And all the other workflows that we already built are going to act and, and shut off the TV and things like that. But because we gave the, the client the 
custom page of art mode enabled and disabled, they can go back in and they can turn art mode back on. That's why I like this method a little bit better. And then we can do the other one, 8 a.m. So in the current hour is equal to 8, we're going to turn make art mode enabled and we're going to set that to true. And now that's going to go back into the family room art mode TV on and it'll enable art mode again. So right here we've created the off and the on for 10 p.m. and 8 a.m. This is this can be overridden on the custom page where the client has the button. Also the status will keep track properly there as well. Um, so that's one scenario. The other scenario is if we built it right into the workflow. So family room TV art on. So we want the, the TV to go into art mode between the hours of 8 a.m. and 10 p.m. Now, if we code it this way, that's it. This is the only way that they're going to be able to do it, and I'm going to show you why. So we're going to add our current hour and, and the current hour again. I'm going to show you here. So what's going to happen is if the current hour is greater than or equal to 8 and is less than 10, I'm sorry, 10 p.m., so it's 22. And let's just think about this for a second. The reason I'm putting is greater than or equal to 8 is because during the 8 o'clock hour, we want it on. So now we have our workflow, which is the same art mode on that we had before, but we added this time constraint in here. Now, I always recommend when you put a, a, a time range in here to take this range and actually do something that I'm not sure if you've ever seen before, but this is this makes it complex. This is going to group this as a separate thing. Now, in this particular instance, you don't need to do that because we're including all of these. But there might be uh, a reason where these are ors and this has to be an and, and it's just good to get in the habit of building your ranges for time like this. Now, um, some of you may know that in here there is the um, in range right here. Um, I don't recommend using that. I have found that that has um, unreliable results um, because the, of the way it calculates and everything. I've seen it, the difference between on smart hosts and pro hosts. I just, I really recommend staying away from that use some basic is greater than or equal, group it together like this, and it'll work every time for you. Um, so that's how we allow it to go into art mode is it's gonna be here. Okay, so now that we've done the on version to make sure that it only turns on between 8 a.m. and 10 p.m., now we have to fix the off. And we have to make sure that this off is working appropriately. So, Right now, we have it if the zone um, doesn't have video and the art mode is not enabled. The other piece to that is if it's outside of that 8 a.m. to 10 p.m. range. So we need both of these. And then let's put our times in here. So we're going to grab current time and time again. So we want if it's greater than or equal to 22 or less than 8. And I want to make a correction here because I don't want it. It can't be greater than 22 and less than 8. It actually has to be 
let's get rid of that. It has to be or. So we want current hour to be greater than 22 or the current out the current hour to be less than eight. Now here's another piece. Like I said before, it's best to put your ranges as a complex. And this is exactly why, because we want we want this, these both to happen, or we want this complex to happen. So here's how we lay that out. We're gonna have zone has video and art mode is I'm sorry, zone does not have video and the art mode is not enabled, then we turn off the TV. Or if it's outside of the 8 a.m. to 10 p.m. range, it will turn the TV off. So this way we're getting that catch-all when it's outside and that art mode is still enabled. Keep in mind though, when we program it like this, they can the user cannot override the, the method that you've programmed. So I generally don't like this, but I want to at least show it because you may have it where the user does not have control um, and you want to just set up some time times that it's that it's operating. So um, hopefully that was helpful and not too confusing. Keep in mind you can reuse this to um, other triggers and other things. It does not need to be just art mode. Just wanted to get you thinking about time ranges and how to build those into your triggers um, or even utilize a um, uh, like we did here, uh, a user state variable to change the way um, something is operating. Um, please uh, click follow to um, see new posts of new videos and uh, let me know if you have any other questions or recommendations for other videos I can do. I uh, hope this has been helpful. Have a great day.